I thought I'd do a video about the connections I'm making between my PMDX424 breakout board and my VFD. So this image shows all the wiring connections I'm making between the board and the VFD. It's kind of overwhelming uh, all at once, so I thought I'd break it down. So let's look at speed control first. I think it's a little easier to understand. So the VFD generates a 10 volt reference signal, which is sent via this pink wire to the PMDX407's analog reference pin. The PMDX407 is going to return this voltage on the red wire back to the VFD, anywhere from 0 to 10 volts. 0 indicating I want 0% of the, of the spindle's maximum speed, and at 10 volts I want 100% of the spindle's maximum speed. And that, that max speed is configured within the, the VFD itself. And this is why this is referred to as analog input, because this voltage is continuously variable between 0 and 10 volts, rather than, let's say, a digital signal, which would either be 0 or 5 and nothing in between. All right, next up is fault reporting from the VFD back to the PMDX424. This is a good example of another type of signaling that can be used rather than a positive voltage. In this case, a connection to ground is used as the signal. So here the, the VFD has an internal relay, which is what it's calling its digital relay. And it's configured to have that relay closed whenever the VFD is in what's called the no-fault state. And so essentially here we have the green wire providing the ground from the PMDX input signals and the VFD has a relay which is closed when there is no fault. If the VFD were to ever to enter a fault state, that relay is opened, and thus it will lose the connection on pin input pin number 8 of the PMDX, uh, will, will lose that connection to ground, and that will be the signal to the PMDX that something has gone wrong in the VFD. Stop, stop, stop. And so I will have to program Mach 4 to respond to this signal. It won't do it by default, but basically this is the layout that we have to reporting those. And so in my setup, we'll have two, two types of fault reporting. I have a, an auxiliary contact on the uh, circuit breaker for the VFD. So if I were to ever lose power because the circuit breaker pops, the, v, the PMDX will be notified of that. And here's the second layer of protection where the VFD will report faults. And if we ever lose that ground connection here through this circuit, then we will stop all motion. And lastly, we have the control of on, off, of the and forward reverse of the spindle. So this circuit here uses the mechanism similar to the fault reporting in that it's using uh, the ground signal. And so the ground in this case is originating at the VFD. And so it comes to the PMDX 407 on this blue wire to the COM of the 407. And basically this run COM, you can think of it internally in the PMDX 407 as a relay. And when it's time to run the spindle, that, that relay is closed. And when it's time to stop, the relay opens. And so basically that grounding signal is coming through, and so on and off is being controlled by the PMDX 407's relay. And then through this green wire, through the run, we're actually coming to the common of the, of the other relay that's on actually on the PMDX 424. And so theoretically you could have a, a, an auxiliary relay outside, but there's one provided here in the 424. And so this relay is then going to switch the direction. And so basically here on the purple wire, which is digital input two on the VFD, that is going to go in the, in the forward direction. And when the relay is in its other state, which is this normally closed, via the orange wire, we're gonna go to digital input three, which is reverse. And so basically there's configuration that goes on on the PMDX side and some configuration that goes on on the VFD side to get this all to work. But that's the basic uh, idea here.
And so once again, we're using ground as a switching mechanism rather than some positive voltage. All right, so that's about it. Thanks for watching.